Hello, Young Living. I wanted to take a few moments to share some important company updates with all of you today. We're a global family working together to create a brighter world. And it's important to us that you're in the loop about key business initiatives. We think you deserve total transparency. First and foremost, I want you to know that we're very much business as usual. Despite the growing health concerns in the world right now related to COVID-19, here at Global Headquarters, we're not slowing down and we're here to support you more than ever before. That goes for all of our market leadership around the world too. I watch corporate leaders in every Young Living market respond to this crisis with timeliness, insight, and the agility required to overcome the business challenges presented by this global situation. Whether you are in North America, Latin America, Europe, Asia, Africa, or Australia, you can be confident that your local leadership is there to provide you support and guidance. A key part of running business as usual is that we continue putting people first. So we've taken key steps at Global Headquarters to protect our employees around the world. One of these steps is following sound guidance from public health authorities and asking employees to work from home for the near future. For areas of our business with functions that cannot be done remotely, we're strategically staggering shifts to create space between people to reduce potential exposure, both for employees and for members of our community. This includes, for example, our farms, warehouse and shipping operations, and other important functions. Globally, you can also count on the support you need from your market member services teams. Whether you're a Young Living employee adjusting to working from home or a member continuing to work on building a business while reducing your potential contact, I'd like to make the following suggestions to help all of us stay on track. Number one, take a moment at the beginning and end of the day to call key members of your team to check in. Number two, teleconference weekly with key team members for follow-up on any important goals your team is working on. Number three, give yourself a consistent schedule that works for you in a designated place in your home and stick to that schedule. Number four, create daily to-do lists prioritizing your top three tasks. With all of that said, I want to express my gratitude for you, this company, and for the myriad ways I've watched this amazing worldwide family support one another at this trying time. There are challenges to contend with, but we're more than equipped to handle them. Our executive leadership team is solid, strong, passionate, and prepared to handle this challenge and all others. I've asked our trusted CFO, Lee Bowen, to chair our Emergency Preparedness Committee, working closely with our Vice President of People, Aubrey Bates, and other key company leaders. This committee is charged with briefing the executive team daily, as well as processing key data points from health authorities to help us make wise and proactive decisions to protect our people. I've invited some key corporate leaders to speak with you today regarding other elements of our business impacted by the current situation. Prasad Gankanda, our Senior Vice President of Global Sales, along with Josh Kelshaw, Director of Global Events, will brief you on company events. Lauren Walker, our Chief Supply Chain Officer, will discuss our thieves replenishment strategy. Dr. Mike Book will share some valuable information on thieves and other protected products. And of course, finally, We'll hear from our founder and CEO, Mary Young, who will share some parting words of wisdom for all of us. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your time today. Have a fantastic weekend. Take it away, Prasad. Thank you, Jared. I'm grateful to work for a company that genuinely cares about the safety and well-being of its employees and members. We've spent many hours discussing how to proceed with Young Living's event, including the International Grand Convention. As the situation is fluid, we are unable to predict what the state of the coronavirus will be in June. For that reason, we've decided to cancel the in-person International Grand Convention and instead will be offering an amazing virtual experience this year. It was a tough decision, wasn't it, Jared? Oh my gosh, it was so tough. Canceling our in-person convention is one of the hardest decisions we've ever made as a management team, but we feel like it was a responsible decision to make. Yes. Although we'll miss seeing each of you in person, the virtual convention will be an impactful experience. 
that will allow us to reach more people in more homes around the globe than ever before. And that's what I love about it. A silver lining with a great opportunity. Exactly. Our director of global events, Josh Kelshow, is here to share details about this phenomenal virtual experience. Josh, time is yours. Thanks, Prasad. As Jared said, it won't be the same to not see all of your faces this year in Salt Lake. But Brittany and I and our events team are excited at the opportunity to create an amazing virtual experience for our members. In regard to VIGC, or Virtual International Grand Convention, we are very fortunate that we already had a digital solution in place providing us the ability to offer this event to members when so many other events around the world are being canceled. Utilizing this technology, we'll be able to deliver exclusive, high-quality content to all who are registered. We'll still offer the same in-depth product and business education that you've come to expect and rely on from convention, and those who have purchased a virtual convention ticket will still have the first right to purchase new products. All of this is just the basics and the beginning of what is going to be a robust virtual experience. I know that a lot of you will have many questions about what this event will look like. We ask for your patience as we navigate this shift from live to virtual, understanding that the information we have provided is what is readily available from the U.S. and all global markets. We don't have all the answers right now, but we are working to get them for you. What I can tell you is that for all who registered for IGC, your registration will automatically be converted to a VIGC ticket, and you will be refunded any amount paid above the 75 US dollar price of the virtual convention, also known as the digital connection ticket. For those who purchase Kids Camp or Recognition Gala tickets, you will receive a full refund for these purchases. And for any hotel rooms you may have booked within the contracted Young Living Room blocks, our event staff will be canceling your reservation on your behalf and all first night deposits will be refunded. We ask at this time that you not contact hotels directly regarding hotel cancellations or first night stay refunds, as we are currently in the process of navigating this shift with them. We'll be sending out communication immediately following this video that will have additional details and a link to an FAQ that we will continue to update as we have more answers and information. Please refer to these resources as you have questions. Again, we appreciate your patience as we continue to get you updates as quickly as possible. We will continue to be in touch in the coming weeks and months as we get closer to our first virtual international grand convention. Thank you, Josh. As I mentioned, the safety and well-being of the attendees at any Young Living event has and always will be our highest priority. We'll continue to evaluate our general event schedule and update event dates and locations as needed. I'd now like to welcome Lauren Walker, our Chief Supply Chain Officer. Thank you, Prasad. There has been an incredible demand for our high quality products in light of the current crisis. This has led to an increase of products that have gone out of stock, especially our beloved Thieves family of products. In fact, sales of some of our products have increased over a thousand percent. The Young Living team has an aggressive plan to replenish inventory at our global markets. Our suppliers and our partners are fully committed to serve Young Living and our members by responding with the highest sense of urgency. We are all staffed to work extra shifts and weekends to manage the increased demand. There are also additional manufacturing lines and facilities completing qualification plans to start production next week. These collective set of plans increase our thieves production output by over 100,000 bottles per product. There's also been a tremendous level of creativity and teamwork occurring behind the scenes to shorten the lead time to get inventory to your market in warehouses around the globe. Here's just one example I'd like to share with you. Our 7.6 ounce hand sanitizer that, by the way, kills 99.99% of germs is currently out of stock as the demand for this product has spiked over 700% in some markets. The bottle for this product has a very long lead time. Well, our teams have come up with an idea of qualifying the V6 bottle of which we have plenty of inventory available and applying the Thieves hand sanitizer labeling. This idea will allow us to go into production tomorrow instead of waiting a month for bottles to arrive at our facilities. So you will have the same product you know and love with a new look 
to service you faster. In summary, some of our markets will start seeing thieves and other high demand products that support a healthy immune system as early as next week. Other markets have products in transit. Please know that although we are working aggressively to serve you, we will never sacrifice our commitment to Seed to Seal. Our products will be back in stock worldwide at the quality levels you have come to expect and enjoy from Young Living. I'd now like to bring on our Chief Science Officer, Dr. Mike Book. Thanks, Lauren. I want to build on what Lauren said and assure you that our rigorous quality testing will continue unchanged. This means that our scientists will not be working from home, but we are encouraging them to take all reasonable safety precautions in the labs. Now, speaking of reasonable safety precautions, let me tell you about some of the precautions that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, otherwise known as the CDC, recommend for all of us. First and foremost, they recommend that we all wash our hands with soap and water. Luckily for us, Young Living makes high quality soaps like our Thieves Foaming Hand Soap. But did you know that many of us actually wash our hands incorrectly? You see, most of us tend to wash our hands like this. But when we do that, we're actually washing the back surfaces of our hands. And what we should be doing is washing the surfaces on our hands that actually contact other surfaces. So we should be washing like this. We should be washing our fingertips, our thumbs, and most importantly, under our nails. Now the CDC recommends that we wash our hands for at least 20 seconds under running water. If you don't have access to soap and water, the CDC suggests that you use hand sanitizer containing at least 60% alcohol, like our Thieves hand sanitizer. The CDC also recommends that you clean hard surfaces with products containing at least 70% alcohol, like our Thieves spray. Finally, now is the time to try our fantastic Thieves cough drops. These are all natural cough drops that are so effective they meet all the FDA OTC medicine requirements to suppress coughs. So the best way we can help mitigate the spread of pathogens is to stay clean. We have the products to help you do that. After all, living clean is what Young Living is all about. So now let me introduce someone who really needs no introduction, our CEO and co-founder, Mary Young. Thanks, Mike. I think you should all join me I love your energy. It's powerful. Thank you so much. The unknown is always a challenge, especially when there are so many factors that are beyond our control. This is a time when many people are panicking, but they are panicking because they don't know what to do, and they are afraid of the unknown. Gary said that fear is paralyzing and that living in fear is the exact opposite of living a purpose-driven and productive life. I think if Gary were here, he would say that we just have to outsmart the fear mm -hmm. and that is what we are doing here at Young Living. I have to remind myself of Gary's thoughts about problems, fearful things about the unknown, and he always said, if you have a problem and you bring it to me, you better come with a solution. I'm excited about the solutions that we're finding. And here at Young Living, we refuse to live in fear. We have an amazing leadership team that is smart and knows how to plan and how to make good decisions to keep things running. We care about all of our people dearly, both those on the corporate side and those on the member side. And we are doing everything we can to be prepared and protective. Of course, we would prefer to hold live events and interact with you in person, but we are being proactive for the well-being of Young Living. As Jared and Prasad both said, it was such a difficult decision. Can you imagine? This is a historical moment for all of us. The first time in history we are not doing a live convention from stage. I'm not going to get to sing the national anthem. <laughs> I'm not so going to right. see all the flags come in. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so exciting. But Gary said, come with a solution. When we started talking about this, 
I could see the wheels going around in the minds of our events people. Oh my goodness, they have a vast challenge, an enormous challenge, and they are excited. They have solutions, and they are going to make this something really great and wonderful for all of us. It's definitely a year of transformation. But we are facing the challenges with a sense of adventure. <laughs> These challenges are presenting a fabulous opportunity to communicate with our members worldwide. Can you just imagine how they're going to feel knowing that they don't have to register and hear us say, sorry, we're all sold out. No one will be turned away because Everyone can listen. Everyone can tune in, even with kids running around in the background. <laughs> Just imagine what that's going to be like for all the moms with their kids at home who would love to come to convention and are wondering what to do. And then when they have their friends over and their friends bring their kids, oh my goodness, it's going to be so much fun. It's a terrific advantage for our members. And it's a terrific opportunity for us for our events team to strategize on how we can make this the best experience ever in a unique and innovative way. We love you all and know that you will be smart and careful. Walk with a peaceful mind, knowing that when we do the right thing for the right reason, we will have the right outcome. Just think of our events team and what the enormous task they have ahead of them. Please be patient, be kind, and let them do their magic. They will take care of the problems. They are solution-oriented, so let them do what they do best. Just remember, we at Young Living have an advantage. We have essential oils and we know how to use them. Just keep spraying, washing, cleaning, and avoid the crowds. We love you, and we will see you soon in a virtual space. All right.